Reporting for High School Sports On Demand, powered by Max Preps, I'm Lauren Brown. The Hightower Lady Canes take on the Humble Lady Wildcats in the 2013 Aldine Volleyball Tournament. Two tough teams, but both coaches know this tournament matchup will help them in the regular season. Um, basically, the tournaments are for fun, and we use this time to, what, as I tell them, to get the kinks out of the game, all of, starting to fix all the errors that we normally make, you know, take chances, you know, get us prepared for district. We use tournaments as practice to get us ready for district, and our district is pretty big, so therefore um, they're crucial in getting us prepared. That we need to work on implementing our defense, making sure that we're working on closing up our block and making sure we're staying on our toes to cover our hitters and covering for tips. That's the main things that we're focused on right now. Lady Wildcats with the first serve. Monalua Otabega tried to move in for the kill to give her team the early lead. 1-0 Lady Canes. Later in the set, the Lady Canes get to work on their offense, but come up short as Eastland Adams hammers it away, and the ball is just outside the line. Lady Wildcats with the serve. The Lady Canes fight to keep the ball alive, but the Lady Wildcats come up with the block to stop Hightower from scoring. Hightower doesn't give up. With the Lady Wildcats serving, the Lady Canes easily return the ball when the Lady Wildcats go for the score. The Lady Canes come up with the block. Lady Wildcats still on top, 4-1. to one. Lady Wildcats with the serve. Check out this passing game. Watch the setup from Desiree Thorne to Tiara Blades, who drives in the score. 6-1, to one, Lady Wildcats. Later in the set, the Lady Canes show they came to play. Moving the ball across the court, they managed to show Umble they weren't giving up without a fight, thanks to two huge plays by Kiana Leviston. Lady Canes trail 6-2. to two. Lady Canes Kiana Leviston with the serve. Lady Wildcats with the solid return by Haley McCrary. And Hightower can't come up with the return. Lady Wildcats on top 7-2. to two. Later in the first set, Lady Canes with the serve, but the Lady Wildcats continue to dominate on the court as Jamie Harston slams the ball in for the score. 9-3, Lady Wildcats. Lady Wildcats Jessica De La Rosa with the serve, and the Lady Canes try to get back in the set, but the Lady Wildcats keep the ball alive, and Jamie Harston puts the ball away to give her team a 7-point advantage, 10-3. Later in the set, the Lady Canes trail by four with the Lady Wildcats serving. Lady Canes battle to stay in the set as Talia Gossett sets the ball that the Lady Wildcats are unable to return. Lady Canes close the Lady Wildcats lead to three. Lady Canes with the serve. After a quick return by Umble, the Lady Canes' Legay Briggins just taps the ball over to get the score. Lady Canes only down by two. Still the Lady Canes serve, now only down by one. The Lady Wildcats can't get the ball across the net. The first set is tied at 12. A close first set, the Lady Wildcats and Lady Canes get down to business. Both teams make sure they have full coverage on the court so they can easily pass the ball. But it's the Lady Wildcats who move ahead as Jessica De La Rosa sets up the kill for Tala Nassar, who hammers the ball away to take the lead for the Lady Wildcats. The first set remained a close one. Now 24-20 to in favor of the Wildcats. They are just one point away from taking the first set, but it's the Lady Canes serve. Tiara Blades with the set gets the ball over the net, and the Lady Wildcats take set one. 25-20 over the Lady Canes. In the second set, another close score as the Lady Canes only trail by one. Jasmine Cook serves and her team backs her up. After the Lady Wildcats return her serve, the Lady Canes' Chastity Nix goes in for the kill to tie the set at four. Jasmine Cooks with the serve again and the Lady Canes' offense steps up their game thanks to a big hit by Denisha House. Hightower goes up five to four on Umble. The Lady Canes continue their strong set. Solid teamwork has increased their lead to six. Coach Courtney Carter strategizes with her team to make sure they continue to extend their lead. You need to make sure that y'all two get y'all's blocks together, yes, no. even if they hit the ball into the net. We're trying if to they do hit the ball, yeah, we're trying get to get it together. together. The Lady Canes chastity Knicks with the serve, and the Lady Wildcats try to return it, but are unable to reach the ball in time. Lady Canes lead 15 to six. 
Lady Canes don't let up in the second set, and thanks to this shot by Denisha House, Hightower coasts to win the second set, 25 to 16. In the third set, another close score. The Lady Canes lead by four. Kiana Leviston serves for her team, and both teams battle for the point. But it's Hightower's Chastity Nix who drives the ball away to put the Lady Canes up 18 to 13. The Lady Wildcats serve, but it's match point for the Lady Canes. A tough point, but Umble knocks the ball just out of bounds. The Lady Canes take the final set 25 to 16 over the Lady Wildcats, and the Lady Canes win the match 2 to 1. The Lady Canes middle blocker Talia Gossett says Coach Carter's advice made all the difference in the second and third sets. She was telling us um, just to be aggressive, um, you know, move to the ball, talk, communicate, because we weren't communicating, making mistakes, and you know, all that kind of stuff. We work on a lot of passing, blocking, like a lot of blocking because we're not closing up the blocks, um, basically passing to the center and blocking and working on our hitting as well. Reporting for High School Sports On Demand, powered by Max Preps, I'm Lauren Brown.